So somebody recently asked me to do a video explaining the carpet trimmer. So I just want to show how to change the blades and how to use it and all that. Um, if you'll come down real close right here. What I'm going to do is just loosen these knobs up. And um, this thing actually just slides out. What it is, there's a little plate right under that. I'm going to try to keep these holes clean because this plate sits underneath it here. And um, these little knobs right here, got a little button there and a little button there will actually slide straight in those holes and that's the adjustment for it. Um, I always put it in the very first hole. It seems to work good like that for every carpet. So I never use the other three holes. So if you'll just take and slide it right in, you have to have a little bit of pressure on it. Just take and slide it right in. What I do, I hold my thumb right there. So when it gets, when it gets locked in the hole right there, I can hold it as I tighten it down. Watch this. See that right there? right there okay now my thumbs here and I can hold it as I tighten that down and it won't move so that's how we put that back um, my trimmer blades if you'll notice I have one chiseled edge one of these edges are chiseled and one is flat if you'll notice I always have the chiseled edge facing up if you put the chiseled edge on this flat piece of metal you're going to have a small gap <sighs> let me show you always want to try to keep that cleaned out right there too that little crack right there will cause your blades if it gets full of carpet um, fibers and stuff it'll it'll stop um, it'll make your blade come loose but anyway if you put the chiseled edge toward toward your trimmer see how that little gap right there I don't know if you can see that or not but anyway there's a little gap right there because the chiseled edge is to the flat metal so that's going to allow carpet um, backing and fibers and stuff to get in there and then that's eventually going to pull your blade out like that or get it stopped up or anything so if you'll take and put the flat edge not the chiseled edge but put the flat part of the blade on the metal it's going to allow that to go nice and smooth up against there see that okay um, these are not average utility blades. Utility blades have two slots in it where this only has one. If you'll notice it, these are made specifically for a carpet trimmer. Um, you got a little groove right here. Stick it right there and then you got this little bump here and a little bump there is what your blade sits again. This is just a spring to hold it tight in there. This little bump right here will go in that groove and it'll just kind of snaps right in there just like that again I got my chiseled edges when you put it in it's going to be actually down the flat edges are going to be up toward this because it goes like that now again I want to slide it in and put a little bit of pressure just so I can snap it in them holes right there and then I'm going to hold it hold my pressure on it while I tighten it down Okay, and that's the blade changing. Um, my my handle here, just kind of got it at a slight angle, if you can see like that. It's not straight up and down. It's not laying down too much. It's just, just where it feels comfortable for my hand there. And um, yeah, that's how you change the blades. We got just a little piece of carpet here um, up against the wall to demonstrate because I want to cut it long, I want to cut it short, and I want to cut it right. I want to show you all three different directions on, or three different aspects of how you would cut it short, how you would cut it too long, and then the proper way to cut it right. So as you can see with just the carpet is just laid up against the wall. Um, there's a lot of different factors to take in play whenever you're using a carpet trimmer. So the tack strip is definitely a little far here. I don't like this, but it, uh, it was already down. The pad was already down. We're just going over existing pad and carpet. So. Um, rule of thumb here if I got my carpet flat on the floor like that this trimmer actually has different plates in it right there you can take those plates out you can make it lower or higher um, depending on the thickness of carpet and stuff I never mess with those I just got used to using the trimmer and and I'll lean it up that way will make it go short and I'll lean it up this way will make it go long so um, with it up just curved up like that 
you always want to make sure you get your carpet mashed down in there just like so always want to get it see how this is curved right in there real nice you always want to make sure it's in there real good like that it's going to be just right for your cut there so first thing i want to do okay this is going to be about right because this is a thin carpet as you can see here i got my trimmer about up off the floor high enough i can get my finger under it and uh as i push as i push along i'm going to keep my left hand up here because i'm pushing with my right hand What's that going to do is just keep it down in the crack, in the corner good. Okay, it's starting to get just a little jerky and a little dull feeling right there. So what I want to do, I can just pull up. You see all this stuff will build up in front of there. So you just pull it back and take off again and it starts sliding real good. So this right here, if you can look, I got, look at the edge right there see how much i got up there that's going to be about right what you want to uh pack see that that gives a nice finished edge right there so i'm going to pull this up now and i'm going to lean it the other way okay So I'm going to cut this without mashing it in the corner or anything like that. And just to show you that it will cut short. See that I didn't mash it in there or anything. See that? It's just flush. That's not even good enough to pack right there. It's just touching the wall. Come down. Come right here with your camera. See that? It's just falling just flush with the wall. That's not going to work because you need a little something. Let me shift this over. There we go. Okay. You need just a little something to put pressure on it whenever it packs in there. It's going to mash back on the tack strip. So that will not work like that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this wall without pushing it in. Okay, see that? It's flush all the way down through there. That is not packable. That will pull off. If you try to stretch away from that, that's going to pull off, okay? So you got to make sure you get it in your corner. You always want to mash it in your corner. Okay, now this time, I am going to mash it, and I'm just going to hold my trimmer flat on the floor. No gap under here. It's just going to be flat. And I'll show you, if you just hold your trimmer flat, now look here, it's all the way on the floor, all the way around, okay? I'm not leaning it up or nothing, it's just flat on the floor. Okay, now look at that. See here? That's like a half inch up on there. If you try to pack that, it's just going to be all bunched up and ugly. See that? That's too long to pack down there and make look good. So that's why you don't want to just hold it flat on the floor. Or if you raise up even that way, it's going to be even longer. So angle is key when you're using a trimmer. Like I said, there is a lot of different factors to take into consideration when you are trimming. The thickness of the carpet, how far the tack strip is away from the wall, what you're trimming up to, like if I was trimming to tile, I'll do that here in just a second, and I'll show you that you even need to get it just a little bit shorter when you're uh, trimming up to tile. Okay, this time I'm going to put even more of a lean and show you that when you lift up too high, it will be short as well. So, now you can see how much I got there. A while ago, I just had about a finger width. About right there this time i'm going up just just higher just to show you that uh it won't cut it too short okay and once again you see that that's just flush with the wall you don't want that because if you just push that in there that's not going to hold a stretch you got to have some actually to crease in just a little bit you don't want it just flush so that there is a little too short too so again, this, as I was showing before, you want, as on my other video about working carpet to tile, you want just about that much to pack down in there. That, that's probably even just a little bit much. You just want just enough to touch. That's perfect right there. Okay. Look how much I got right here. Get real close. Let's see. See the carpet? And then there's the tile. 
Okay, so that's about how much you need. Now watch how that packs. That's going to be and what I'm doing. I'm going to hold this right here on the tack strip. That way, if if I if I just push right here, see how that raises up. We don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to hold it here and mash it in there. See there? Ouch. That that's perfect right there. That that allowed it to stick on the strip here. It didn't pucker up or anything. So let's get a cut right here. Besides the one I just did on my finger. Okay, so again on tile you do want to get it shorter. So if you'll notice right over here on my trimmer here how much I got up because I do want it just barely to go over the tile. So there you go, look right here. See how much of a height I got right there? And again, I'm just holding this on the strip so it don't move with my right hand. I always want to have my right hand, or whichever hand. You can go the other way if you're left-handed, but you always just want to hold down with your other hand. So, that should be pretty good right there. Let's take a look and see what we got here. See that? We got just, just barely over the tile, and that's going to be just perfect. I'm going to mash it down right there. Push it right in there. If you'll notice what I'm doing here too, I'm also pulling the nap back and just pushing the backing in there. Watch the difference if I push the nap in there. See the difference in, let me do a couple. Okay, see the difference in this look? See this look and this look. This is where I'm pulling the nap back and sticking the backing in there. This is where I'm pushing the nap in. So I always want to pull your nap back with your stair tool and push the backing in there. That way you got a nice, nice clean look. See that? Look at the difference in here and here. This is folded back and this is just pushing the nap in. That's a big difference. Okay, so now just one more time so you can see it again, how to use the trimmer correctly. We're going to come over here and just get a distant view there, that way they can see how I hold my hand and everything like that. Okay, just a distant view so you can see the whole area. Okay. Again, I'm going to mash the strip. That's going to be right, right there. Only time you don't have to mash the carpet down in and hold your hand in front of it as you're pushing the trimmer is when it's already been stretched up. It's stuck on the wall right here. This wall has already been stretched up to this direction. So um, you don't have to worry about holding your hand here because it's naturally it's already stuck right here and it's already in the corner good. <coughs> so that being the case, there it's already staying in the corner. So you don't even have to hold your hand there. It is just a little close. We're just shaving off just a little bit. So what I did, I'll have my hand here as I was pulling here and it kept just a little tension on that. So again, the only time you got your packer on you, only time you don't have to do that is if it was stretched up to. See that? That's about the angle I showed just, just a second ago. It's a perfect trim without holding my hand here. That'll uh, this has not been stuck up. See how this is just sitting there? We're fixing to pull away from this. So definitely want to put your hand here and match that down. Again, check it out. Not that much. Might seem like yeah, a little tricky or something like that, but once you get the hang of it, it's a time saver, big time, to uh, 
Now I got a pucker right here. Before I pack that, I'm gonna pull that back to get rid of that pucker. There. Now I'm gonna hold it on to it. Okay. So I just wanted to clarify that about not having to hold it. If you stretched up to it, you don't have to hold it. You have to hold it if you're pulling away from it, if it's not stuck to a tack strip or anything. By the way, a while ago when I said, ow, that's what I've done. I got my finger on the tack strip. That was a close one. I thought I was gonna to have to go to the ER on that one. It is the Roberts 10616 carpet trimmer. I don't know that you can find these particular style like just like this anymore. I've had this one for like over Actually, not that long, but it's just the same style that I got 20-something years ago. Anyway, um, maybe that'll help somebody use the carpet trimmer. 